Hey, what's up guys? It's Angel from Mavix Gaming and today we have some very exciting and surprising news for the PlayStation 5. So let's drop right into the big bomb of today. We have the new DualSense controller for the PlayStation 5. We're no longer with the DualShock, we're with DualSense. And PlayStation just posted this fine article right here in their PlayStation blog. And I read it all. It has some interesting points not that many new information. Um, if you have already uh, heard about the article that they had with Wire Magazine last year on 2019, where they talked about the haptic feedback and the adaptive triggers, there's not that much brand new information. They go a little bit deep in the haptic feedback and the adaptive triggers. They just mentioned a couple of examples uh, surrounding this. They say that the sensation, the tactical sensation is going to be, um, tactile sensation is going to be something that they are going to be investing a lot in PlayStation for their next generation. So we have the audio feature, which is the 3D audio that Mark Cerny talked about on his uh, <laughs> heavy presentation just a couple of weeks ago. And then we have the haptic feedback and adaptive triggers that give a lot more sensation to your fingers when you are using the, the fingers on top of those triggers. So that's one thing. Then we have an obvious, very obvious redesign. I'm just going to go for the key um, aspects of the redesign that they are talking about. They have a change angle on the hand triggers, also um, subtle updates to the grip, they have a uh, strong battery life and also they have um, a new design that's not so bulky but it is like uh, some sort of futuristic vibe. There's no share button but now we have a create button but they don't deepen enough on this. They just mentioned that there's going to be a create button and they will have new details on the following weeks. Also there's a built-in microphone array and um, the controllers are going, to, are going to be two tone design. Normally we had like one solid color all the way up um, in the controller. Now we have two tones and this is going to be very interesting on how the controller is going to have a shape uh, in terms of marketing. How many different combinations are we going to see with the different um, editions of the controller or with special collector's edition of certain games for PlayStation. I don't know, it's going to be very cool. And the light bar has been changed because usually the light bar was uh, was located here and now it's like surrounding this part. So let's just let's just take a look very quickly to these um, photographs that are posted right here. So this is the complete controller. We have the triggers, we have the create button, the new create button, the pad looks freaking amazing. The two thumbsticks, we have the speaker, which I really didn't mind about the speaker, they could have just removed it, but yeah. So we have the PS button that is now a real PlayStation logo engraved into the controller. And we have here the, I think this is going to be the microphone array. So yeah, the buttons are the same. Really, really cool design, very clean. I like that this reminds me a lot of um, Eva from the movie of Wally. -E. So yeah, for me is this this is the Eva controller. And so we have right here the view from from the top. We have the triggers that have been a little bit redesigned. We have here that maybe this is the the controller port for you to charge your controller or for the extension. I think this is going to be for the USB-C. It seems like a like a USB-C charger. So yeah, this is a, another look. I'm trying to compare it right here with the PlayStation 4 controller. It seems a little bit like bulkier, but it's it's this sign is um, it seems like a little bit smoother. So yeah, and that that's basically it. We only have like three different shots, and one shot is like a big zoom on the first shot. So two different shots of this new controller 
really really impressed just by the look of it it looks really nice i think it is a weird update for it i don't think we really needed an update on the dualshock control because it really works well and they say in the in the blog post that they wanted to rem uh, to maintain intact most of what players love about the dualshock 4 so i hope they had done a, a good job on that regard so yeah we have a beacon of light for the PlayStation 5. Um, they haven't mentioned anything related on the release date or of a change of the release date. They're, just, they're still mentioning that it's going to be available for launch on holiday 2020. So let's let's hope that we stick to that release date. But um, being very sincere, I really think this is going to be uh, postponed until 2021. But that's the pessimistic in me so yeah this is the new information new playstation 5 controller if anything else comes out i'll let you know asap and yeah thank you for watching i'll catch you with more playstation 5 news in the future stay safe